Under the Green Star is a science fantasy novel by American writer Lynn Carter. Published by Door Books in 1972, it is the first novel in his Green Star series. The story and the entire series is told from the point of an unnamed first-person narrator who is 30 years old, very wealthy but crippled, and who knows some Eastern arts including soul casting. Topic. Plot summary One night the narrator sees a green star in the night sky, and casts his soul towards it. He finds a cloud-covered planet which revolves around it and sees that its surface is covered with trees that from his perspective seem several miles high. Later, he follows a retinue of humans riding on horse-sized based on humans retaining earthly size, as he explains at one later point in the novel and another later in the series dragonflies, which he finds out later are known as Zyphs to a splendid city which sparkles like a jewel collection. One of the men in the retinue, cruel-faced and clad in bright yellow, presents a proposal which the author cannot yet hear to the ruler of the city, a princess who looks about 14. At that point, the author is drawn to a large man's body preserved inside a casket, which he revives to the consternation of the yellow retinue, and the cheers of the jewel city's nobles. As he has taken the body of a man preserved for over a hundred years whose soul was banished by a sorcerer, the author has to relearn Leonese, the universal language of the planet. He learns that the dual city is known as Phaelon, considered the most splendid city on the planet, that its beautiful ruler is Princess Neve the Fair, that the yellow clad man was Akmim ruler of the rival city of Arda, also known as Yellow City. He is also brought up to speed. The body he took was that of a warrior named Chong the Mighty, on swords, bows, and other weapons. One day, when Chong and Neve are out on a hunt for celebrating the festival of mating Zyphe, they are confronted by a huge, somewhat larger than a Bengal tiger lizard known as Ythid. The lizard is killed by an arrow from Chong's friend Panthan, but the spilled blood causes Neve and Chong to fall into the web of an elephant sized spider or XOPH. As they escape from it, Neve is drawn to a flower, which turns out to be a vampire species. But before it can kill her and Chong, the two are rescued by a band of outlaws. The outlaw band is led by a female, Siona, who falls in unrequited as he loves Neve, love with Chong. Chong makes friends with one of the rescuers, Jorgen but an enemy of another of the band, Weasel-Faced Sligan, who manages to find out about the secret of Neve and Chong. Later, Sligan reveals the secret to Siona, whose father was banished by Neves, and strikes Chong with a poisoned dagger, only to be immediately slain by Siona. Chong aids Neve in getting to the Zyphe pens to escape, prior to succumbing to the wound and poison at which point the narrator on Earth regains consciousness. Under the Green Star was followed a year later by When the Green Star Calls. Reception Lester Del Rey reported that Carter's writing here had more of the virtues of Edgar Rice Burroughs's adventure stories than other novels where Carter attempted to imitate Burroughs. <laughs> <laughs> 